Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here and today we continue the discussion from the previous video. We started discussing the hydroelectric power station. So we saw a general outline of it, you know, a general theoretical discussion about a, a hydroelectric station or a dam. So today we do what? Today we do some mathematical manipulations, right? So let's say I give the heading is the energy and power calculations. Energy and power calculations. So what have we discussed previously was that there would be three things that are associated over here. So number one that if we talk about is the head. The head is what that is the height of the water at the height at which the water is located or you would say head uh, storage at a height h storage at a head right. So you have a storage at a head. The second would be your conveyance system, conveyor system, which means that you are conveying the water from what? From that storage to the to the to the uh, to the turbine or to the powerhouse. So this is done through the penstocks. Associated with this is your hydraulic efficiency which is quite high you know. Now uh, the thing is that you have head losses over here, head losses which means some of the power is lost due to what? Due to maybe friction in the pipes, due to pen stocks and these are very less losses again they are about 4 to 5 percent. Hydraulic efficiency is associated with the with this uh, hard uh, water conveyor system which is through the pen stocks. The third that we see this is the turbine and the generator system. So you have a turbine and you have a generator. So the turbine has again got a mechanical efficiency and the mechanical efficiency of the turbine is quite high. You have the mechanical efficiency is about uh, you would say 80 to 85 percent or let's say this is 85 to 90 percent. 85 to 90 whereas for the generator the electrical efficiency if you talk about is is, is maybe greater than 95 percent even fine yes so this is just a general background we saw water is stored conveyed and then turbine rotates and then it, it runs the alternator so this is the general uh, outlook of it. Now while talking about this we are in this video we are talking about the conventional hydroelectric station in which we have a mass storage at a certain height h. So in that case we are going to utilize the potential energy of the water. The potential energy of the water right and the potential energy you know is given by mgh the formula. If I am talking about the mathematics over here right so potential energy is mg h now what do i do is if i talk about the 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 potential so if i talk about rho which is the mass per unit volume is the density so i can put this value over here is uh, so this would imply that my energy is what my energy is uh, from here it would be rho into the volume right rho volume g h rho volume gh so this is the hydro potential the energy that is associated with the water right yes so what do you have is if i divide this by t so if i divide this by t which means that if i have energy divided by time over here energy divided by time and then i put rho and i will put this volume divided by time and then i have my g and h so energy by time is power power and this is equal to rho and this is q g h so this is now my hydro power potential this is the power that the water has got so this is the hydro power potential where where this q is what this q is my discharge this q is the discharge and discharge is what this is telling me the rate of flow this is telling me what the rate of flow in what units in the units of volume per unit time so capital v i will be using for volume the small v i would be using for speed right so whenever we talk about a hydroelectric station a hydroelectric station so the important thing is what there are two important things basically the first one is your head that is represented by small h and the next one is your discharge that is represented by the small q fine head potential head and discharge q so these are the things basically that we can play around with an operation engineer can play around with 
और और नाउ हाउ कैन वी प्ले अराउंड इट सो है वो लक द रो इज कॉन्स्टेंट फॉर वाटर द क्यू द जी इज कॉन्स्टेंट एंड सो द थिंग इज दैट यू कैन प्ले अराउंड आइदर विथ क्यू और एच एंड एच इज द अदर थिंग दैट अगेन वी कैन नॉट प्ले अराउंड बिकॉज वंस इट इज यू नो अ डैम इज कंस्ट्रक्टेड सो द हेड कैन नॉट बी चेंज एंड द हेड इज ऑल्सो अगेन नॉट प्ले एबल अराउंड विथ द ओनली थिंग दैट वी हैव इज दिस डिस्चार्ज क्यू दैट इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट पैरामीटर फॉर अस एंड दैट इज द रेट ऑफ फ्लो एंड द रेट ऑफ फ्लो डिपेंड्स ऑन the load you, we saw that in the previous video the higher the load the higher is the intake lower the load the lower is the intake you have the air valve the, you have the uh, sluice valves and this and that turbine gates that uh, uh, controls the flow of water so this is basically the power that is associated with the water that is in terms of the hydro now what electric potential do we have over here what electrical power do we have over here so have a look have a look electrical power if i talk about the electrical power over here so which means that this uh, hydro power is to be converted into this electrical power right yes yeah. so if we are converting this hydro into this electrical so we would have some certain parameter conversion parameter let's say cp so cp times the hydro power p right or if we talk about in the efficiency terms so we have an efficiency of the system and that is the p so which means how efficiently is the hydro power being converted into the electrical power right yes so this is the uh, the electrical power pe and p is the hydro power p so you could say what that the pe is equal to pe is equal to eta rho q g h and this would be in what this would be in watts uh what this would be in watts right yes power unit has got what power units are watts yes so here look mostly we are interested in kilowatts and you know that the that the that this rho which is the density of water so the water has a density of kilogram per meter cube 1000 right so which means that you can just skip this value and you could say that the electrical power formula would come out to be for water this would be eta q discharge g and h kilowatts right so i have uh, uh, compensated the 1000 with this kilo fine yes sir so now what do i have is this eta is the overall efficiency or uh, is i the overall efficiency if you talk about this eta is the overall efficiency and similarly if if you talking about a conversion factor so this cp is the conversion factor by what amount is the hydro being converted into electric right conversion factor uh, energy conversion coefficient this is also called this is also called energy conversion coefficient so you have multiple names for this energy conversion coefficient now uh, um, there is no difference you know you can call it anything you can call it anything if you have it in terms of a percentage so you take it as an efficiency you know percentage if it is mentioned in percentage so this is basically efficiency whereas if this is mentioned simply so this is you know uh, the uh, a simple coefficient the, the thing is the same basically and what is the value what is the value so normally it is taken as 0.75 <laughs> you, you you can take it to a maximum of 0.75 you can take it to a maximum of 0.75 normally it is taken 0.7 I believe I said that normally 0.75. No, normally it's not 0.75. Normally it's 0.7. The maximum you take it to be, the maximum you can take it as 0.75. Right? Yes, sir. So, do I have any other thing to tell you over here? I don't think so. And also, the discharge Q is the area times speed. The discharge Q is also area times speed. Discharge I told you over here is volume by time. right and discharge is also uh, uh you know uh, 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 which is what q this is also area times the speed well, how is that so we we said that it's volume per unit time so volume is area into let's say a length l divided by t l divided by t would be speed the distance per unit time would be speed uh, right so area times speed it comes out to be a times v or Uh, volume divided by time. So small v for the volume, capital V for the speed.
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do I have any other thing to tell you? Do I have any other thing to tell you? I don't think so. So let's move on to an example. Let's say a simpler example. A reservoir with a capacity of 6 into 10 to the power 10 meter cube. So which means this is what? This is my volume. So volume is given which is 6 into 10 to the power 10 meter cubes. Right? With available head of 200 meters. So head is 200 meters for the production of power if the overall efficiency of the system is 70 percent determine the energy in kilowatt hours that can be that can be made available right yes so e is what e would be eta rho v g h eta rho v g h so this is have a look this is the hydro energy have a look this is the hydro energy and if you convert it to to electrical energy so you have to place an eta the conversion coefficient rho v g h so have a look from here you could also state if you are given in terms of the volume if you are given in terms of the volume you take the energy whereas if you are given in terms of the discharge so or speed so you take the power so have a look energy i could just directly plug in the values eta is e is eta which is 0.7 multiply rho which would be 1000 uh, which would be 1000 and have a look wait wait and 6 into 10 to the power 10 wait 6 into 10 to the power 10 volume is 6 into 10 to the power 10 and then g would be 9.81 and then the h is what it's 200 meters this comes out to be 8.24 into 10 to the power 16 8.24 into 10 to the power 16 have a look when you do the calculations directly the units of energy are joules the units of energy are joules or the units of energy are watt second joule is equal to watt second joules is equal to what second this is something you need to know now the thing is i need the energy units not in watt seconds i need it in kilowatt hours so what do i do converting watts to kilowatt i have to divide by thousand so i have 8 or 8.24 into 10 to the power 16 so i will divide it by 1000 so i would have a kilo over here kilowatt in terms of watts and similarly for seconds to convert it into hours so you have to multiply it with 3600 because one hour has got 60 minutes and then 60 minutes has got uh, uh, 60 seconds each so 60 multiply 60 would be the number of seconds in an hour which would be 3600 seconds in an hour so you divide by 3600 so you get this in hours so this implies what that the energy units have came out to be 2.28 into 10 to the power 10 kilowatt hours is that fine so you have to take a special care of this while doing your calculations example two water from for a small hydroelectric station is to be made available from an estuary with a volume of 5 into 10 to the power 5 so again estuary is referring to a lake is referring to a storage so the volume is given is 5 into 10 to the power 5 meter cubes located at a height up a hill to provide a head of 100 meters the head provided is 100 meters with a hydraulic efficiency of 85 percent hydraulic efficiency is associated over here right with the conveyor system with the pen stocks so hydraulic efficiency is 85 uh, percent if the electrical efficiency is 94 percent and the water supply is available for eight hours daily so the time is eight hours uh, the determine the capacity of the generator so the generator capacity is unknown so have a look volume is given available head is given and hydraulic and electrical efficiency is given so the overall efficiency we talk about the overall efficiency over here so overall efficiency 
eta you have to multiply the individual ones so 0.94 multiplied 0.85 gives you what it gives you uh, 0 0.80 0 0.80 is that fine it is now what do you have is you calculate the uh, the energy unit so the energy units would be uh, calculate the energy units again by the same formula e is equal to what uh, eta eta rho v g h so eta is what eta is given 0 0.80 multiply rho is 1000 let's say okay 1000 multiply volume is 5 into 10 to the power 5 uh, g is 9.81 and h is 100 so this comes out to be what this comes out to be 3.92 into 10 to the power 11 3.92 into 10 to the power 11 watt seconds now converting this to kilowatt hours so you have 3.92 into 10 to the power 11 divided by 1000 and 3600 so this would give you kilowatt hours which implies the energy units are 108.88 into 10 to the power what 10 to the power 3 kilowatt hour so i've got my energy units right yes now if you talk about what uh, so uh, you have what the time is eight hours so so the time is eight hours so you divide this by eight you divide this by eight basically the kilowatt hours divided by eight so this would give you the size of the generator this would give you the kilowatts of the generator basically the generator is not in kilowatts but for now let's consider it kilowatts of the generator fine yes sir. do i have any other example oh i don't think so i don't think so that we have any other example so let's say we finish this video over here and we will talk about the next examples in the next video those would be the book examples related to this the rating of the generator is normally in kv not normally it has to be in kvas over here we just consider we'll we'll talk about kvas later on so i finish this one over here i will see you in the next one very soon till then take care goodbye